Welcome back Guardians. In this video we are going to be looking at these sexy sexy purifier robes. Now I actually got these from Prison of Elders and you know that's how badass look I am so hit that like button guys for that amount of badass look and I'm going to just tell you the story slightly before we do a mini review of this because I haven't fully maxed them out yet but I have had these used against me. So we were doing Prison of Elders level 35 um, I believe it was level 35 but anyway it got to the point where we got to the chest at the end and I had one key left on me I believe one or one or two I can't remember but I was like oh I'm not gonna bother wasting my key on this chest because I didn't need it for an elder cipher or anything um, the only thing I would be getting was a Queen's weapon so I opened the chest anyway after deliberation and these sexy robes popped out and as you can see they look incredible this design on the chest piece is awesome like absolutely awesome it's like a silver metallic look and i have the thunder devil shader on which makes them look even better but if you switch up the shader to let's say the new one palace victorious you can see that other things do change color but the robes stay the same let's do something a bit more apparent so you can see god of war is red and gray and it just goes with a lot of different shaders Revelyn looks pretty cool, but it's still, you know, black. And even Queen's Web looks kind of decent. But, you know, I love these robes and I'm leveling them up because they're just going to be absolutely badass. I've been hit with this in Trials and it is so disorientating. So, it dropped obviously like level 42. It's got Discipline of plus 100 and Strength plus 95. That is an insane roll on perks and the numbers that it gives you so also you, you get serpent's mouth causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown causing damage with a melee reduces your your grenade cooldown so grenade and punching work together to make each other restore and then the main perk burn brighter activating radiance from death disorients nearby enemies so once you come back to life produced um, it acts as like a titan's flashbang to the enemies that are around nearby you. I'm not sure about the range of it, but it seems quite... I wouldn't say overpowered, but it seems like a really decent range you can do this from and blind people. I believe the further away the people are, the less they are flashed. Like they get back their sight quicker than when you're right next to them. But anywho, it's very, very useful in something like Trials of Osiris. So your whole team's been wiped out and all the enemies run around your orbs and they're teabagging you. You self res with this, blind them all, and then you've got instant scorch melee to kill one of them. You could just put a bullet into one of them and hit him and just keep punching and everything. Can throw your uh, firebolt grenades around, which is what I use, and you will get, you will easily kill all three of them. It actually happened to us. Someone actually self res against us and killed all three of us because we were just blind. We found it hilarious though, it was so funny. It's going to be incredibly irritating, incredibly overpowered if you know how to use this properly. I do love that the collar is kind of like the Death Singer's gaze. Is that is that the right one? Or the Death Singer's Mantle, I can't remember the name of it. But the, the Crota's End chest piece, like you get this high coloured thing. That is awesome. But you know, I love this. Let me know if you have this, guys. If you have this, do you like it? Have you got it maxed out? Have you used it? What do you think of it? What are your honest thoughts? Hit that comment section hard, guys. Hit that like button even harder. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.